the training game. What does that actually mean, do you think? It's to improve our, our speed, to improve our speed, and to improve our speed. For me, it's, sorry, for me, it's about improving our speed. Who starts? Tim to start. Well, what I wanted to ask is, what would you do? Like, how would you start? Something like, would you say Tonya Harding? More Kelly, someone called Kelly. Kelly Cates. Yeah. Kelly Cates, no more hosts. Yeah, or you could do a funny voice at that point, like Nama. Pardon me? You could do a funny voice, like Nama hosts. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, Kelly Cates, no more hosts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you mean by hosts? Do you mean TV presenters? Yeah, no more TV presenters. Mm. Kelly Cates. And no more TV presenters. And then we're just straight on. John Barnes. He scored a disallowed goal against Belgium. No more people uh, oh. who've ever scored a goal on terrestrial TV. On terrestrial? On terrestrial? On terrestrial? It's a training game. Yeah, on terrestrial. He scored in the um, in the eighties. He scored. Which game did he score a goal on terrestrial TV? In the nineties, for England against Brazil, or in the FA Cup, for Liverpool against someone, he would have. And you know what? He would have scored one that they then put on Match of the Day. Right. So, that, so they have to score it live on terrestrial TV. Did I use the word live? It's a training game. <laughs> Do you know what? I love training games. So far. Todd Blanche. No more made up. Oh, so all the people now have got to be a real person. <laughs> Name another. Griston. Griston? I think there probably is someone called Todd Blanche. Well, are you challenging? No. Don't look it up then. Okay. Leanne Rhymes. Yep. No more people who surname is a verb. Sounds like okay. a verb. Yeah, to, rhyme. to rhymes. Oscar de la Hoya. No more people who are on Snapchat. What does that mean? I don't know, and I don't know <laughs> whether he's on it. <laughs> Why are you making that noise? I don't think you can say no more people who are on Snapchat. I think I've said it. You have to have a Snapchat account. Well, I don't know. Why do you think Oscar De La Hoya is on Snapchat? Well, I'm not sure. You no. Know, why do you think he's on it? Are you challenging it? Okay. I don't know how you check whether someone's on Snapchat. Well, I'm going to Google is Oscar De La Hoya on Snapchat. Well... Stop it. Yeah, he's on Snapchat. Well, I'm delighted with that. What does it mean? Well, I don't know, because I'm not on Snapchat. And the game carries on? Well, no one's lost. Okay. Henry VIII. I've forgotten one of the categories. I've forgotten a lot of them. I haven't mean a lot of them. Oh, yeah. You're fine on that one. No more beards. What, what as in you don't think that to eight is a verb. No. That's not what I'm talking about. Super Ted. Super Ted. Yes, Super Ted. No more people who've got an S and an E. Lucky guys. Challenge. Beard. I think he's made up. No. No? Does he exist? No, no. He's fictional. What does fictional mean? Well, I, the, the other guy, like, Glonch Brox, or whatever he's called, I just made him up on the spot. What's the difference between making someone up on the spot and making someone up over a bit of time? Because Super Ted is like, exists. Oh, he's a real person? No, <laughs> he's a bear. Is he made up, or is he real? No, but I didn't make him up. Was that the category? Well, by that rationale, 
I could get you on someone who wears like um, makeup, like Henry VIII. No, that's a very different rationale. You just said fictional. Well, no, you just said people who. I'm, I'm using the same definition I made up as you. I don't think you are. Well, I'm, at least we can agree that Super Ted isn't made up. I, I know the difference you're going for. So we're allowed fictional still. We're just not allowed to make someone up on the spot. You can have like Tarzan, but you can't have Mr. Gwompy. <laughs> but you're allowed Mr. Blobby. Yep. Because he exists. And you're allowed Super Ted because he. The, the made up character exists. Yeah, but you can't have um, Pulu Porker. So you're allowed pre existing made up people. Yeah. <laughs> You'll go. Mr. Blobby. Really? Probably. Okay. I don't think he presents the show. <laughs> Which show? Mr. Blobby's House Fun. <laughs> I'll pick someone else. No, pick Blobby. I think you're fine with Blobby. Oh, I reckon he's had a spin-off where, where he presented something. It's a training game. Pick Blobby. No, I don't want to pick Blobby. Enya. No more people who, when you think of them, are better at singing than me and you. Considerably better. Put together? Either of us. Oh, no. No? No, she hosts Bake Off. Well, host is a slightly fi fiddly one, isn't it? Tina Arena. What is that? <laughs> She's a singer. <laughs> is she a good singer? She's better than us. Considerably. Big Daddy. No more people who are considerably fatter than me or you. And are you confident he hasn't ever hosted a TV programme? What do you think he hosted? Don't know. I'm not going to challenge you on Big Daddy. Okay. Do you think dogs have got beards? Well, I don't think Super Dads have got beards. Lassie. If you're in a programme, you're not presenting the programme. I'm saying Top Cat. And we're saying he's not made up as he, he's, he exists. No more people who, who, when you think of them, they're wearing a hat. Mm. Pardon? Batman. No more fictional. All right. Florence Nightingale. Oh, maybe not. Snapchat. Mary Magdalene. No more people. Born before Tony Blair. That's a really good one. Cheers, mate. How old do you think he is? 40? Same as us. Shall I start the clock? Yeah. Jan. What is Jan? A snooker player. Why is he, why, why is he called Jan? I think he's called... Yan Bing Tao. No more sporty people. Has Yan Bing Tao got a nice voice? <laughs> and is he sporty? Yeah, he's a snooker player, professional sort sportsman. And that makes him sporty. I don't think he can be a professional sportsman without being sporty. Alright, I get I get you. I get you. Henning Vane. No more people that you and I have touched. You or I have touched. He's presented a show. What show? I thought it was a TV presenter. What? I thought there was no more TV presenters. Are you going to mention the documentary you did with Mark? I want to see a TV show with Henning Vane something in. Do you not think he presented that show? Nah. I think when I did Cricket on Horseback, I wasn't a TV presenter. I think have a look on his um, Wikipedia, see if he's a TV presenter. Do you think he's a TV presenter? No. Okay. Oh, have you have I survived that attack? Yeah. Because it's a training game. No, it's not a presenter. <laughs> Name another. What people that either of us have touched? Yeah. David Seaman. I've not touched him. Have you? Yeah. He's on my little list. It's round about this time that I always try and think of like criminals, or. You know, victims. What, 10 past 11? Yeah. To help you get to sleep. 
I reckon if I get one more, I'm getting you next round. Yeah. I'd say at this stage of the game, I'm doing it on feel. I know the type of person I'm trying to think of. Oh, man. I can only think of three jobs. What are the new princes called? Prince George? That's the direction I was going to go in. I'll leave that for you then. Adam Driver. Adam Driver? What's he been in? Star Wars. Got a nice voice. Well, don't say that. Well, he's not singing, is he? I bet he can sing. No more Americans. I don't know. I've never heard of Adam Driver. Well, he might be a good singer. He's not that kind of actor. He might have a beard. No, well, he'll have it for parts from time to time. Yeah, okay. I'm pleased with that. Very pleased with that. Very pleased with Adam Driver. Mm. Well, I was going to go with Prince William, but there's one category that I think he might fall, fall down on. Potentially two. But they're both quite fun ones. Definitely one. You think he's definitely out? Not definitely, but I would imagine. All right, I won't do it. We'll chat about Prince William later on. Adam Driver. Have you ever done anything with Adam Driver? He's a big star in America. I think what's happening next is you're going to name someone. I'm going to stay poker-faced, get in your head. You'll push him through anyway, and I've got you. This will be curtains. I'm nearly there. Curtains. Well, I think I'm going for um, Goldie, the dog from Blue Peter. Was there one called Goldie? No more people... Is it a people? Goalie. No more single name people. No more one worders, yeah? No more single names. It's always fun, isn't it? Only one in 50 people can make that noise. Yeah. Janice Joplin. I've been watching some of the old videos back. You and Mark don't react at all when I do something silly. When I say my dad, after having said no more dads, you don't react at all. We're pretty good, aren't we? I looked at you for tells, there's nothing. <laughs> Kenny Everett. Tell. You can't help yourself. Blagathon. What? Kit Watson. No more children. So we've gone into the realms of people we know that aren't famous. Well, we've done that before. Challenge. You've touched him. Have you? Yeah, loads. He's been around my house. I think I've given him a bath when he was a baby. You've touched him. Yeah, I gave him a shower. <laughs> I mean, it's a good one to report back on the training game to the other member of the team and why, why he went out. Well, that's because Horn touched your son. That's a good training game. What did we learn? We, we were go, both going on field towards the end. What would your next one have been? Well, I, I'm happy to talk about Prince William. My worry was he might have scored a goal on terrestrial TV. Wow, that's good. What was your worry? Maybe he's on Snapchat. I thought you might have touched him. I think we played quite well. It's a really good training game. All right, I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs> No more people we've touched is good because it does rule out most people we know. Who do you know you haven't touched? Good question. It's sort of recent acquaintances. Do you think you've touched all of the Taskmaster contestants? Which of them do you think I've not touched? Which of them do you think I've not touched? <laughs> How many contestants have there been? 50. There's definitely not been one that I've not touched. I reckon I've touched... 35. Nah, 45. Well, I could definitely name more than five I haven't touched. Who? Have you touched Johnny Vegas? Yep. Daisy May Cooper? Yep. Moana is one? I think so.
Catherine Parkinson. I'm Richard yeah. Herring. Yeah. Brooke is Rick. You've touched them all. Joe Brand. No, one. Never met her. Badil? Yeah, I touched Badil. Gamble. Yeah. Matapayo. Yeah. Katie Wicks. Yep. Yep. We're doing, yep. doing all doing all this thing going to sleep? Paul Sinner. Yep. Sean Gibson. She's quite 50-50. I've met her, so maybe. I think if you've met her, you've touched her. She's very touchy. Lou Sanders. Yeah, I've touched Lou. Joe Thomas. Ian Sterling. Yeah, I've touched Ian. Okay, we're going back to series seven. Yeah. Which I think is Rod Gilbert. I've touched Rod, yeah. It's James Acaster. I've touched James. It's Phil Wang. Yeah, I've touched Phil. Jessica Mappet. I wouldn't know whether I've touched Jess. Maybe that's another one. Well, she's bought you a smoke machine. Yeah. You think someone's bought you a smoke machine without having touched you? I think we'll, I think we'll touch each other next time we see each other. You don't think you've ever touched Jessica Nappet, but she's bought you a smoke machine? Yeah. Kerry Godliman. I reckon I've touched Kerry, yeah. I think we're on Bob Mortimer. I've touched Bob. Mark Watson. Yeah. I've slept with Mark. Ashling B. Kissed on screen. Nish Kumar. Nish, yeah, I've touched Nish. Sally Phillips. Touched Sally, yeah. Alice Levine. You've not touched Alice Levine? No. Russell Howard. Touched Russell, yeah. Tim Vine. Touched Tim, yeah. Asim Chowdhury. Yeah, I've touched Asim. And Lisa Tarbuck. Yeah, I've touched Lisa. Now we're going to Neil Fielding. Touched Noel, yeah. Mel Gedroich. Yeah, I've touched Noel. Mel. Joe Lysett. Yeah. Lolly. Yep, yeah, touched Lolly. And Hugh Dennis. Yeah, I've touched Hugh Dennis. Rob Beckett. Yeah, I've touched Rob. Sarah Pascoe. Yeah, I've touched Sarah. Dave Gorman. Yeah, I've touched David. Al Murray. Touched Al. And Paul Chowdhury. I haven't touched Paul. Have you not? Um, I don't think I've touched Paul. It's going to be close, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've touched everyone in Series 1. So we're looking at Richard Osman. I've touched Richard, yeah. We're looking at Catherine Ryan. I've touched Catherine. We're looking at Doc Brown. Yeah, I've touched Doc. We're looking at John Richardson. Yeah. I think we've looked at everyone. And Joe Wilkinson. And Joe Wilkinson. Yeah, I've touched 46 Taskmaster contestants.